The Pathfinder has had a fascinating history and is special with regards to its way to re-evaluation, having flipped from body on casing to unibody over and again during its life cycle. It began as a two-entryway SUV in 1986 on Nissan's smaller truck body on outline stage and added a four-entryway in 1989, ending the two-entryway a year after the fact in North America. The second-gen Pathfinder went at a bargain in 1995 with Unibody development. Then, at that point, the third-age SUV made an astonishing revisitation of body on outline in 2004 for the 05 model year just to turn back to Unibody for the fourth age Pathfinder in 2012, imparting a stage to the Nissan Altima, Maxima, and Murano, among others. For this fifth era, the Pathfinder really remains Unibody on a similar stage, yet it drops the milk toast plan in a revisitation of the got down to business, muscular looks we've come to connect with this SUV, paying little mind to its underpinnings. The styling changes all around are with regards to a resurgence in plan among new Nissan contributions of late. The two-wheel drive Pathfinder begins at $47,340, and at $49,865, our test model didn't ring in a lot higher. That cost mirrors the expansion of $730 running sheets, a $745 two-tone premium paint plot, a $795 lighting bundle with enlightened kick plates and welcome lighting, and $255 covered floor mats. A similar 2021 Toyota Highlander Platinum Trim FWD begins somewhat higher at $48,755, and a 2022 Honda Pilot Elite expenses about $2,000 all the more yet just comes in AWD. Nissan likewise extended the past Pathfinder's 3.5-liter V6 motor, which creates 284 pull and 259 pounds to foot of force, yet the past model's CVT has been supplanted with another 9-speed program transmission with a substantial shifter. It can tow 6,000 pounds and accompanies a tow hitch and bridle as standard hardware. Albeit the lovely sounding V6 feels all the more impressive and the new transmission snappier at pushing the lighter FWD model, the test numbers don't substantiate our seat of the pants perceptions. The front drive Pathfinder required 7.1 seconds to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour and 15.5 seconds to do the quarter mile. The Pathfinder with AWD was a shade speedier at 7.0 seconds to 60 miles per hour making it a solid entertainer in the portion. The 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee L Limited controlled by a 3.6-liter V6, 293 horsepower 260 pounds to foot, and AWD required 7.3 seconds and 15.5 seconds, individually. Street Desk Supervisor Eric I upon a track down the Pathfinder FWD super precarious to send off in light of the fact that the motor effectively overpowers the tires. With foothold on, it'll slice ability to decrease wheel spin. With foothold off, any sprinkle of wheel spin brings about a 1 to 2 upshift. Manual mode isn't a very remarkable manual mode since it'll upshift to second naturally. So getting the send off right is essentially a speculating game. Incidentally, the lighter, front drive Pathfinder felt heavier to drive now and again on our winding test track, and the solidness control can regularly be excessively forceful. Notwithstanding, tire screech and head throw were kept to a base, in any event, during hard cornering. The suspension gives a smooth ride over unpleasant surfaces, and there is little body movement over knocks. Out on the figure 8 course, the Pathfinder finished the circle in 28.4 seconds at a normal of 0.59 grams, performing better compared to street test editorial manager Chris Walton expected, however he viewed its directing as pointlessly weighty during his circling. The case is very great, yet you can't go to the power early on the grounds that the front-wheel drive framework doesn't have any kind of restricted slip other than footing control which kills the leave, Walton noted. The all-wheel drive Pathfinder adjusted the course an entire second faster at 27.4 seconds, and the Grand Cherokee L, additionally with AWD, basically split the distinction at 27.9 seconds. With regards to halting power, the FWD Pathfinder required 130 feet to pull itself down from 60 miles per hour to zero. That is somewhat longer than the Grand Cherokee L at 127 feet however far off of the AWD Pathfinder's great 114 feet, which is hard to clarify with the two Pathfinders utilizing similar tires. I upon observed the Pathfinder's brakes to have sufficient chomp and great body control, Walton said the medium firm brake pedal offers great feel and simple adjustment. To the extent eco-friendliness goes, the 2022 Pathfinder adds stop-start, which further develops its CPA numbers marginally to 21-27 23rds of a mile per gallon city-slash roadway-slash joined. 
The heavier Grand Cherokee L is typically thirstier at 19-26-21 with RWD. Nissan's Pro Pilot Assist, versatile journey, controlling help, traffic sign acknowledgement, gives amazing path focusing directing help. When versatile journey is locked in, just press the Pro Pilot button for full ability. Rest your fingers delicately on the guiding haggle and make minor changes as you're speeding down the roadway. With Navi Link, the vehicle eases back for interstate bends and off-ramps, and the framework makes the driver aware of changes in as far as possible. It's without question one of the most amazing driver help frameworks available. The 2022 Pathfinder's Lodge feels premium for a vehicle that costs under $50,000 and accompanies a portion of modern sturdiness, everything is large and square and blocky. Our test model had incredible looking seat earthy colored seats and accents on the entryway and dash top, which difference well with the dark inside, white and gold sewing assist with finishing the upscale look. The platinum trim accompanies a 12.3 inch advanced check bunch, a head up show, a 8.0 inch touchscreen infotainment framework, a movement initiated power rear end, and 20 inch compound wheels. Open the more extensive opening back entryways and move into the warm second line chief's seats fitted to this model making it a seven traveler family vehicle rather than eight and you'll think that there are more mechanical fan support Charge <laughs>